Sega. Care of that trap. Yep. I got it. Shooting star. Hey, what you doing there, Wave? Making a wish. Hmm. They say if you make a wish before it disappears, it'll come true. <laughs> How old are you? Grow up, right, boss? Uh oh. All right, Star. Give me the power to beat it. Responding to commands and are running amok all over the world. The 
International Security Organization, GUN, has begun to investigate the event. Meteotech has not yet issued a formal Is this statement. the meteor that fell last night? Yeah. The sound of the impact woke me from my sleep, and I found it outside. <sighs> we'll be at Megalo Station shortly. You got. As I suspected, the Ark of the Cosmos is an engine unit for the Babylon Garden, invented by our ancestors. An engine part? Not just any part. I'll need to analyze it further. 
But I think this stone's magnetic field is able to transmute a planet's mass energy and create a singularity uh, to... Can the boring speech? What can this thing do for me? To put it simply, the stone can temporarily charge up gravity, then convert it to power Babylon Garden's warp drive. Sounds promising. So that power was gravity, huh? One more thing. The Babylonian scrolls say there are five arcs of the cosmos. One serves as the master unit, while the other four attract each other and serve under it. Okay, so if they attract each other, you should be able to make some kind of arc-finding radar. Get on it! Understood. The boss! Keep it down! And what do you want? <laughs> T take a look at this! Still be in the city area. Once again, that was the scene from Megalo City Museum this morning when a Meteotech security robot stole a meteorite on display. The robot is at large and is suspected to still be in the city area. That's an arc of the cosmos! Storm, set a course for Megalo Station at full throttle! Roger that, boss. Ha! Huh, these things really do attract one another. I hope you're ready for this!
they don't give a guy a break, huh? We can't just stand around here. Right. Whoa! from those robots. I was so scared. Uh, hey. Huh. What's that? The cause of all my troubles. I picked it up and those stupid robots came after me. So that's it. Those things uh. must be after this storm. Uh. I guess that settles uh. it. The key to solving uh. this mystery is Mediotech. You two. I heard them too. Let's circle on ahead of them and gather information. <laughs> Just wait, Sonic the Hedgehog. You won't be calling yourself the world's fastest for long. Hey, Sonic, we got company. Okay, here we go. Do my best! See you later! Yeah! Oh, go! 
Looks like we'll need to watch our step. It's been a while, Sonic the Hedgehog. Jet? Long time no see, Shorty. Wait! We're here to settle the score from last time. <laughs> Any time, Babylon Rose. Cut it out, Storm. All right, Curly. Hand over the Ark of the Cosmos. What are you talking about? Don't play dumb. Not after swiping the Ark of the Cosmos right out of our hands. Hey, hold up a minute. Girls hate guys who rush them, Jet. Rush? Ha! I'm the fastest thing in the universe. And today, I'm gonna prove it. Ha! Sonic, we can't stay here. Looks like we'll have to do the reunion later. See ya, Jet! Hey, wait! Whoops! Can't let you pass until you hand over that stone, lady. Hey! Out of the way, buddy! I'll lose sight of Sonic! Whoa, wait!
can use that power too? Pretty handy, really. Ha! Engage EM algorithm. Maximum value. Access mother computer. Mother computer access denied. Why? Hmm? What's this racket and now of all times? Huh? What went flying just now? Do I look like a ball to you? Eggman, what are you doing here? What do you mean? I own this company! <laughs> what? So you're the ringleader behind this one too, Eggman? Ringleader? What the devil are you babbling about? Come on, cut the act! I'm talking about the Global Robot Rampage! You must be joking! That's been quite a headache for me as well. Like we'll believe anything you say! Calm down! We go way back, don't we? I'll let you in on something. Not even I know why they've gone amok, but they appear to be following a leader. A leader? Well, I guess for now we'll buy that Eggman isn't involved. Hmm. So maybe that has nothing to do with the robots that attacked us. Where did you get that? So you were holding out on us, Eggman. Spill everything you know, now! Very well, I'll tell you. All robot activity within my facility is normally controlled by the mother computer. As the core of the Meteotech network, it was supposed to be the perfect computer. But as of a few days ago, I've been unable to control it remotely. The power unit within the mother computer is a stone identical to the one you're holding. According to my analysis, that stone can convert huge amounts of mass energy into other forms of energy and exudes a unique magnetic field. Huh? Shut up and listen! In any case, it appears that somehow the robot's leader also contains a stone with similar powers to the one in the mother computer. What? If my deductions are correct, the robot's leader is using the world's robots in an attempt to collect these strange stones from around the globe. But why do they need the stones? That even I don't know. They're drawn to one another. What? These aren't just some rocks. They're spoken of in Babylon clan legend as... Ah! That's right! Girl! Give me back the Ark of the Cosmos! Amy's gone. Storm's not here either. Sounds like we've got a fix on the robot leader's location. Satellite monitor on!
you ever give up? The same! This is just like the stone we found at the Gigan Rocks! The Gigan what? And now this makes two of them! I gotta get back and tell Jet! <laughs> hey! Wait! <sighs> the rampaging robots will all cool it? I don't think it's that simple. If Eggman started all this by putting that stone in his mother computer, I don't think it'll stop until we remove it. So where is that? <gasps> Wait, I remember Storm saying something weird about the thing he took from that robot matching something they found someplace else. What did he say? Ge Giga something like that. Wait, Gigan! The Gigan rocks. Right, what you said. You know it, Knuckles? It's a pretty famous ruin among us treasure hunters. A legend about shooting stars tells of some star shard sealed there that can grant your wishes. Shooting stars! Sonic, let's head to the Gigan rocks right away! We might find a clue about these stones. Leave the directions to me. But they say the Star Shard is in a sacred chalice deep in the ruins, and getting there ain't easy. Nobody's made it back alive yet. We'll be risking our necks. Yeah! Don't worry, that's nothing new.
my way! He's late! What's taking Storm so long anyway? Sorry, boss. <laughs> You're late! But I brought back something good. Huh. Not bad, Storm. Not bad. <laughs> Jet. What is it? I found a passage in that ancient text that has me wondering. I'll try to paraphrase it simply enough for you to follow. Let's hear it! We've reached our decision. We must sever the engine unit from this vessel. For if we delay, the contraction of the engine's core will lead the lightless black to consume everything. Lightless Black? What the heck does that mean? Who can say? What are your thoughts? How should I know? Anyway, we can leave the thinking for later. For now, we need to collect these arcs of the... Huh? Huh!
earthquake in here? It's gone! What's wrong, Knuckles? The legends say the Star Shard is supposed to be in this chalice. Did it roll off somewhere in the quake? Hey, Tails, what's up with this painting? The Divine Wings. Divine Wings? Yes, the legendary bird that the gods rode through the heavens. Knuckles, see if you can read this inscription. Divine wings, straddler of stars, lose their plumes to the dark and fall to the ground. The plumes become as stars returning to this land. We, the children of Babylon... Babylon? What connection do they have with these stones? We still don't know that. But could the stones those robots are after be the plumes written about here? The Divine Wings, Straddler of Stars, could they be power units used to operate some starship? So this Divine Wings thing is... Right. Babylon Garden. Children of Babylon seal one star here and another within the great scar, formed in heaven's fall, until the time of the divine wings rising. The great scar? Wait, there's more. The great scar, lying in the east among earth stained red by the dawn's light. Eggman and Jet were headed east. The Great Scar must be the crater formed when the meteorite struck ground. That must be where Eggman found the plume. Which means the mother computer is probably waiting there too. All right, time to go catch up. Huh? Ha! Took you long enough. Where's Eggman? They call it the Crimson Tower. It's Meteotech's signal tower. Command sent out here relay through facilities across the world to control the robots. In other words, you're looking at Meteotech's brain. That big Eggman that the arcs of the cosmos we've gotten and ran in there. What's he after this time? He's probably planning to use the stone's power to issue an order to all the world's robots from this tower. Sooner or later, he was planning to set the robots rampage. That was probably his reason for forming Mediotech in the first place. The Eggman Land Project again, huh? He never gives up, does he? Well, looks like we gotta storm the place. Oh no, huh? You think I was just sitting around here twiddling my thumbs? Sonic the Hedgehog? I follow you. Sorry to keep you waiting. First one to nab Eggman gets all of the arcs of the cosmos. Huh? And the title of fastest creature in the universe. Huh, sounds like fun to me. Let's get started. Huh. All right, bring it on.
My Eggman Land plans are in ruins after all these years. Deal with it, Eggman. You're through. Huh? A trap! What have you done, Eggman? Huh? Look! Huh. Babylon Garden! The resonance from all five power units must have called it down. Then the legends were right! Here. But hey! We haven't settled anything yet! Jet, we have other things to take care of. Let's hurry to Babylon Garden. I suppose we should head home too. Hey Sonic, why do you think the ancient Babylonians sealed away that power unit in the Gigan Rocks? Beats me. Something's not right. The lightless black that assaulted the divine wings. And how that robot chasing Amy just exploded. Oh, we can't let those meteorites get near Babylon Garden! Something nearby is generating a massive electromagnetic pulse. That may have forcibly engaged the program in the robot's buffer. Sonic, the Babylonians weren't able to control the power of those meteorites. What do you mean? I figured out how they can change gravitational polarity. It's a black hole. The meteorites amplify gravity to form black holes. That's the lightless black that attacked the divine wings. The power units are resonating together, forming a giant black hole.
you okay with all this? Well, much as I'll miss the vastness of space, this world still has its charm. Besides... Try to gather up the other units. Yeah? It activated when Eggman found the first piece and put it in the mother computer. All the robots went berserk because they were all connected to the network. At least I think that's what happened. But who made that program? I have no idea. Maybe the ancient Babylonians. Or maybe someone even more ancient. Maybe it was a warning for people to stay away from power beyond control. But the people of Babylon... I can't believe they were the descendants of aliens! They crash-landed on this planet in the ancient past. They disconnected their engine unit. And left it in orbit, hoping that someday it would fall back down to the surface. Every time they saw a shooting star, I bet they'd wish they could get back to their home planet. Maybe that's why people started wishing on shooting stars. Sonic! Hmm? Oh, man. 